right, good morning. That was my camping spot. It's, uh, it was, it was pretty well protected from the wind. You know, I heard it all night, but I blew around a little. Not too bad. Uh, I had to get up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom. That was cool. It was like, you know, midnight. And it wasn't just number one either. It was uh, the full deal. So I got to stand over here somewhere and uh, be cold. I'm just gonna walk and I'll find the trail. Anyway, it's only like six or, yeah, it's like six miles to the road. And uh, then uh, it's to Hatchby. So, hmm. <laughs> I lost the trail. So yeah, I tried to contact Tree Trunks and Samson. Looks like they're not gonna be able to, to you know, hang out or anything. I'm just gonna stand here. I'm just gonna look at the scenery because I don't wanna get lost. Yeah, so that's unfortunate that uh, if I ever see or come through the area again, I'll contact them and see future life's long anyway um, yeah I guess I'll get started oh oh yeah yeah, yeah. so uh, sauce and green bee are situated with a trail angel so potentially All right, yeah, so Sauce and Queen Bee, they got situated with a trail angel. So they have a ride to town and a place to stay. So potentially, if they have room for a third, I will too. If not, there's contingencies. So no worries. Uh, I have been told that at this point in the game, uh, I guess trail angels kind of fight for us. Because they're like, you know, I want the last of the Sobos. So, that would be nice, you know. It, I, you know, there's, there's options, there's options. Opportunity will always be available to those who seek it. But, anyway. Yes, only about six miles. I'm gonna be at the road. I'm so excited. I ran out of, well, okay, I didn't run out of food, but uh, dinner was the last of my food. So I kind of timed it perfectly when it came to my rations. Though I don't have breakfast. But I'm not, I'm not really sad about that. I don't like to really eat breakfast first thing when I'm hiking. I like to get some miles in and then eat if I do eat breakfast at all. So this this presents an opportunity for me uh, and a lucky restaurant establishment. Look at this one. Somebody built a heck of a wind shelter in here. <laughs> Look at this, it's like a little room. It's like a hut. It's a Joshua tree hut. That's pretty neat. Oh man. 
There's the road, you guys. Found it. Oh, I do simply move my legs and let gravity do most of the work. I am pretty stoked about getting some town food. I, I don't know if you understand just how <laughs> how extremely excited I am actually like there's just this constant hunger in the pit of my stomach I'm wasting away my mother wouldn't even re recognize me anymore even though I saw her for her birthday like a week or two ago becoming skeleton skeleton Yeah, like seriously, I looked at pictures of when I first started the trail. I never really thought of myself as fat. I guess I just carried my weight in a certain way. But I was chunky. I was, I was. So looking back at like when I started and then now, I'm like, wow, it's a huge difference. have like before and after pictures when I finish. I only have like 180 some odd miles to go. Oh, man. Time flies. It really feels like I've been on this trail for an eternity. For a lifetime. I'm ready for it to be over. I understand now when people just want something to end. You've had your fill. You're ready for the long rest. Now I understand. I'm still walking. It's been quite some time. Still with the road in the distance. It really reminds me of Monty Python and the Holy Grail when they're like approaching Camelot. And it's just like, <laughs> you know, you, you get like a little bit closer, a little bit closer, a little bit closer, all of a sudden you're farther, you're closer again, you're closer again. It's just like the buildup is forever. <laughs> yeah, that's what it reminds me of. Um, now I just need to prove the coconuts migrate and learn the difference between a European and an African swallow. I, th I think that was a European and African swallow. Anyway, what a great movie. If you haven't seen it before, you should watch it. It's truly British comedy at its best. But anyway, I'm living it right now because I'm taking forever to get to the road. Longest buildup ever. And there are many stories about how the devil's in the wilderness, sometimes just waiting to tempt people to steal their souls. And it looks like somebody lost their soul right here. Rest in peace, buddy. All right. I love these dusty old roads. It's so, I don't know, there's some kind of ambience about them. I just really enjoy. Technically, somewhere along the line, I missed the trail, but it's like just over there on the other side of that little hill, like this little one here, not the big one over there. Um, so it's like, yeah, I'm just going to meet up with it again. But, you know, I enjoy this. This is nice. I like this. This is good. I've walked on plenty of trails specifically for feet. I think, I think this is nice to kind of switch it up and <coughs> walk on something that used to be a street. Anyway. Yeah, you see, look at that. 
<coughs> Ouch. Sorry. Oh man, yes, I am excited. I'm gonna get some food. It's gonna be great. All right. So I just got here and I was like looking and I was like, how are we even supposed to cross this? And I was like, oh wait, there's an underpass. <laughs> it was very fortunate. Otherwise there would be a lot of issues. Hiker mortality. Anyway, yep. So this is gonna be the point where I'm gonna be waiting. Uh, so sauce and clean veal catch up. And then we'll get picked up and taken to Tehachapi. Sign the trail register. This is a neat gate here. It's a latching mechanism. It's unique to others I've seen. Much different than ones that I have encountered in the past. So, QB and Sauce caught up. And now we're walking along the road here. And uh, we're gonna get to the other underpass. And that's where we're meeting the trail angel to pick us up and all that. So that's good. This is uh, a hill I wasn't expecting. You can almost say there was no record of it. I'm sure there was, I just didn't look. Okay, here's the other half. Somebody didn't like whatever was playing, I guess. Man, and I thought vinyl was coming back. Look, the water cache. We uh, stopped off at the Red House Barbecue. We got barbecue. Yeah, town barbecue. food. Ribs. Yeah, it was delicious. Now we're waiting for our trail angel to come pick us up.